Hey everybody and welcome back to another amazing episode of the Bedroom Podcast. I'm your host Nathan Taylor. Let's get into it. Thanks for tuning in. If you don't mind, take a second, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out. Let me know in the comments section what you want to hear about what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right, what I should be doing. All right, let's begin. What's in the news? Our top news story comes from the CDC, and the CDC warns of rodents showing aggressive behavior while hunting for food during this pandemic. With restaurants closed, rats have no trash cans or scraps laying around to get their little paws on. This has seen the CDC see an increased number of rats in residential areas, And also seeing a lot of these rats, since they can't find any food, they're leading to cannibalism. I'm not joking. That is really bizarre behavior, but I guess we are in bizarre times right now. The CDC has also updated its website stating COVID-19 is not easily spread from surface to person. So it is still very contagious person to person, but you don't have to worry about your mailmen and your UPS guys touching your packages and dropping them off at your doorstep. Quote of the week. This week's quote comes from the author Robert Louis Stevenson. He's a Scottish-born novelist born in 1850. He's known for his works such as Treasure Island, Prince Otto, and The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. You probably read these books growing up, and you've probably seen the amazing film adaptations. What I've been doing each week is taking a motivational quote, writing it on the dry erase board, putting it on my wall, and checking it out every day. Hopefully this quote inspires you. I know it inspired me. Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but the seeds that you plant. So, Robert Louis Stevenson quote, take it to heart. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Conspiracy theories. Our conspiracy today, William Shakespeare. Brilliant playwright or brilliant faker? William Shakespeare. He has been credited for authoring over 154 sonnets and over 36 plays. But there's been no official documentation stating that he was the person who wrote these plays. Stranger still, he came from a very low-income family growing up, and they couldn't pay for education, so he didn't go to any fancy university or fancy schools growing up. Even stranger still, there's very limited documentation with anything proving that he even existed. They only found a handful of signatures for things like his marriage license to Anne Hathaway, the documentation of the birth of his three kids, and a three-page will. Besides that, he's almost like a mystical figure. The question is, how can someone with such little education have such a profound impact on the English language? Since the 19th century, people like Mark Twain and Charlie Chaplin have expressed their opinions on the subject, and they don't think William Shakespeare was the author of any of his plays. There's still no proof against it, so he still gets credit for everything that he's written. What do you guys think? Do you think Shakespeare was a real person? Do you think he was a fake, or do you think he was just given credit? Let me know in the comments below. This day in history. Today is May 25th, 2020, but let's check out some things that happened on this day in history. Star Wars opens in theaters in 1977. Babe Ruth hits his last home run against the Pittsburgh Pirates in 1935, his 714th career home run, which was a record for the most home runs, which lasted for over 40 years. Also, JFK asked Congress to support the space program in 1961. It's time for the top five. Keeping with the theme of Star Wars, here's some of my top fives. Top five favorite Star Wars movies. A New Hope. Return of the Jedi, Empire Strikes Back, Rise of Skywalker, and The Force Awakens. Top 5 Star Wars characters. Darth Vader, Darth Maul, Yoda, Rey, and Qui-Gon Jinn. My favorite foods. Chili cheese fries. Philly cheesesteak, spaghetti and meatballs, not spaghetti and meat sauce. Pizza, and rainbow sherbet ice cream. All right, that concludes this episode of the Bedroom Podcast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments section what you enjoyed, what you didn't enjoy. Give me suggestions for quotes, lists, anything that you guys want to talk about. 
please hit share, like, and subscribe. And like I said, comment below, give me some more ideas for the videos, and thanks again for watching. Have a great day.